If you want to find those trending popular designs really quickly using AI, ChatGPT in particular, then this is what you need to do. And this is part of the research process, guys. It's really important to find those design styles that are working right now or that are going to be working when it approaches Halloween or Christmas. And here's a way that you could do this really quickly using ChatGPT so you can identify those design styles and actually start creating these designs and listing them up. And I think this is a really, really important part of your research. It's not just finding those bestsellers already out there, but really knowing what designs people are looking for and people are buying right now. And guys, listen, I do all things AI, digital products, Etsy, and all of that good stuff. So if you're interested in that, please hit the like, subscribe, smash the notification bell so you can get more of my videos in your feed. And my name's AJ. And like I said, I do all things Etsy and I help you find those trending designs so you can actually profit from that. Um, so if you want to make money really quickly, then remember, let's crack. So this is what I've done. I've uh, created a prompt and... You know, it doesn't have to be really refined, guys. It doesn't have to be, but it does have to be quite specific sometimes. Now, I've just said what trending keywords are going to be used right now for Halloween. I wanted to say keywords because I know that these words are going to be found on the titles, which, which ChatGPT is going to look for. And I've also asked what kind of popular design styles are going to be used for Halloween. And I've also asked for links from Etsy for five specific design example listings for clip arts, because remember, I'm going to be I'm going to niche down to clip arts as a digital product. So you need to put in specifically what you sell and just specify that that are popular and selling. So not just any listings, ones that are popular and selling and then click submit and let it do its thing. Um, so searching the web right now and hopefully it's going to give me some really cool ideas that I can check out. So let's see what it's coming up with. This is going to be quite quick, actually. Right. So it's giving me a breakdown. And so it's giving me trending keywords, right? And this is why I asked for keywords specifically, because there's things, things like spooky season, spooky vibes, coquette Halloween, preppy pastel Halloween, cute ghost, watercolor ghost, retro Halloween, vintage Halloween clip art. There's a lot of words that we put together as a mashup which gives you a lot of clues on things that can work. Look, kawaii Halloween clip art. So kawaii is a popular style. Mash it up with Halloween, obviously. You can get its own unique sort of twist on it, right? And then it goes on to say popular design styles for Halloween cl clip art. So it says coquette with a pastel aesthetic. And it even breaks down the kind of um, the aesthetic that you can produce with the design. So it says soft pinks bows neon combined with the classic halloween icons like ghosts and pumpkins and we've seen this before cute kawaii ghosts or animals chibi style watercolor fall scenes and we've seen some really nice watercolor scenes that are uh, with a vintage twist that work retro vintage looks 1950s style witches you know it's actually drilling down on the exact design styles that you can look at and what's also nice is it gives you listings because I've asked for these specifically. For example, uh, vintage animals in Halloween costumes, right? Black cats, owls, highland cows, witch hats, and so on. That sort of whimsical blending and, and nostalgic kind of designs. And then it's given me, and I've asked for this specifically, five popular Etsy clip art listings within these design styles. Because look, guys, you know, sometimes you need to see what the design looks like so you get an idea of what it is. And then when you're actually creating your prompt, you need to know what these design styles are called because it's all well and good looking at a design and saying, OK, that sells. But what is the design called when you're actually creating your prompt? Because this is the key to this. So we're going to look at this um, first one. It says a full cute ghost bundle in a chibi style pastel ghosts sipping lattes now that mashup of ghosts and sipping lattes or with a drink in the hand is quite a good one and it's working quite well so let's just go to the etsy listing and just check it out right let's have a look okay so i've clicked on that link and you can see that it is giving me that sort of chibi style pastely um, um ghosts with the lattes or with the drinks um that is actually popular right now okay um 
so you can see that it's got is you can see that it's very new look it's a one month old listing actually showing us this right, right at the top and it's getting views you know it's a very new listing um it's got it's low in stock it says three left so it's getting interest it's already getting interest it's already getting views and it's less than a month old i don't know it could be two three weeks old but this is already showing you this is a style that is working the elements are working you know the ghost the drink the hat in this case is working quite well and this is a small bundle of 15 files and it does have those kind of keywords in there the fall ghost png you got the trending fall ghost png you got the bougie so this is what i'm talking about when you're actually going away and you want to create a prompt you know that you can create something and say that it's the chibi style latte and you know ghost with a latte or whatever it is and obviously get a little bit more specific and get a little bit more unique as well create it in your own style but it's a really quick way of just identifying using chat gpt what's working right now and actually recently like with this less than a month old listing and you can tell already that it's is selling and it has a lot of interest anybody knows that knows knows and i can imagine that this would probably start being a bestseller probably soon as well um so it's very early days with this in terms of this listing but as this is the whole point in this you know the early bird gets the worm we keep saying this you got to be quick in this game you got to be one of the pioneers the first ones if you get in quick you tend to usually stay and get up there quicker and Etsy algorithm pushes you further and further. And because ChatGPT has given you those keywords like the fall ghost, right? These are keywords that are working as well. So you also get an idea of the SEO keywords to use for your title, your tags and your product description, right? This is a really good first step, um, I would say, is even prior to looking at Everbee, just a quick validation. I would call this a quick validation that these are working. I would then go on to a step two validation, which will be a little bit more thorough using Everbee, my go-to research tool. And look, I've already got Everbee hooked up. Check out the link in the description so you can try and get free access to Everbee. And obviously I'll then go to analyze the listing further. Now, like I said, this is less than a month old, so you're not going to see any sales or any monthly revenue. That's not going to appear. But what you will start seeing is you will start getting an idea of if it's getting views, if it's getting any favorites, right? And you can also get an idea of conversion rate. So this information will become clearer in next month, probably in terms of Everbee. But obviously by then, it'll probably be not too late, but by then it will be a little bit later and you want to get in there, like I said, quick. And although you don't have as much information with regards to sales, you do have indicators that this is already working. And this is what you need to do. You're finding these indicators using ChatGPT and then you're getting a bit more validation using Everbee. And in, in terms of the validation, in this case, I'm seeing views, I'm seeing favorites, I'm seeing a bit of conversion. Obviously, sales won't appear yet. Um, and this is what it is, guys. It's about quick identification and quick verification and then quick listing. This is what we need to do. So this is a really good way. And then what I'll probably do is I'll go back to ChatGPT. I'll probably look and try to do a few different listings around the style in this case. And because um, I've asked ChatGPT to give me a list of five, I'll check out these five in these different styles. Remember, I've chosen five listings that have good potential that are hopefully starting to sell already, even though they're quite recent listings um, that are different in terms of style. So this is your sort of um, chibi pastel style, the first one. The second one is a more of a watercolor style. The third one has a sort of gothic style. Um, the fourth one has a slightly different whimsical um, style and so on. So they're all slightly different design styles, which is very, very important because if you're able to create these different design styles within your niche, this is a method of capturing different um, interests from customers. And this is where you start getting people to come over to your store. So remember, 
in a niche, you need to create listings in different design styles. A very big tip, um, whether it be from watercolor, chibi style, whimsical, um, coquette style, uh, vintage style. There are many design styles out there that also that work really well. And there are many customers or people that love different styles sometimes it's a mashup so it might be a vintage with a sort of coquette style combination um, and you can always ask chat gbt for these design styles and what they look like these kind of merges or mashups are also very very important and remember guys you know chat gbt can make mistakes or does make mistakes so it's always good to just keep going back and then asking the prompt in a different way so that it can give you other listings um, that are also popular but definitely do your verification um, your validation using everby making sure that you can see that there are sales coming or there is interest in the listing so that you know that it is actually worth listing up for okay so make sure you verify properly using everby after using chat gpt very important but guys if you do like videos on how ai can help you do these processes quicker and become more efficient and help you make money on platforms like etsy please put ai in the comments below or chat gpt and hopefully i'll produce more videos like this so guys hope you liked the video if you did like the video please hit the like subscribe smash that notification bell and i'll see you on the next one take care